Okay, as we say, brother, elder, what, what, what happened? Anyway, uh, you have you have a, a you're here at the ADUS conference. Yes. Why are you here? Because I want to support our people. But how long you been supporting your people? You say support our people. I assume you've been doing this for a long time. How long you been supporting? Well, I've been doing genealogy for a long time. Uh, realize that we're so important to this country, but it's been such a big secret that it, it's a shame. But I gotta feel God has put us here for a reason, and the reason's here we gotta back each other up, and that's what counts. Now your work is in genealogy. When you said, I mean, this is your hobby? What, 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 what Just a hobby. When did you start this? I would say I started in uh, 19... 1973. Mm -hmm. What made you? I was a study of the Bible, I, you know, I, I, and I start researching. Because I want to prove at one time that there was no God, and only made me believe there was a God. And the most important thing is the fact that we follow the genealogy of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And because we did this, it also helped me f to research my family, mm -hmm. which it opened up the doors to so many different things in life. When you say you research your family, what is your family? What's your my family is from a little place called Charles City, Virginia, mm -hmm. and Surrey County. My we... ancestors go back to 1776. Mm -hmm. uh, really? Charity. Charity line brings us to John E. Jones. Mm -hmm. That is my family. Mm -hmm. And they fought in every war in this country. And we need to show, to share the, what we've done. And so keep people to say, hey, these people built this country, and that is what it was important. It's, it's always a lie that they want to take it away from us. So we have to let it be known that we are important and we're looking for our reparations. Now you, you you started this a while ago. Now when this uh, when this current uh, I call it reality ADUS reality started, I mean, did you also say, "Hey, this is my opportunity"? What did you say? What what? How did it hit you? Actually, it was a fact finding. Uh, I was as growing up, I was told that we were in history, and I had uncles and aunts who said, "You know, your family's in the history books." So I said, oh, you know, it didn't bother me until later on in life, and I start researching. And I was always told I had a lot of Indian in me. And I, and I went along with this, this theory until I had my DNA. When I did my DNA, I come from 10 different places, starting with Africa. Uh, went from uh, 20... 2% to Ivory Coast, 19% Cameroon, Congo, 12% uh, British Isles, uh, Asian, uh, Middle East, Jewish. I have all these different type of people in me. Then I find out what plantation my family comes from. That was the Shirley Plantation in Charles City, and also Surrey County is right next door to Charles City. Well, you're, you're lucky. Virginia keeps mm -hmm. pretty good records of all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. so, 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 so you have all this history, but how did it apply to AD, when AUS uh, um, movement, uh, you know, the reality came about? What did you just? I mean, how did it? You said well, I, I should be a part of this. I mean, uh, some people just well, sit on there. When I found out that. Uh, we come from the Carter Plantation, which is called the Shirley Plantation. Uh, that opened up the door and said, hey, that's who I am on this side of the family. Mm -hmm. So it's so important to know who you are so you can relate to who you are. Okay, let me, let me do this another way. I'm asking... Yes. How did you find out about the ADOS movement, the one that's that, that, oh, that car now? I owe that to my daughter. Okay, here we go. Now, tell me about this part. 
Okay, my daughter said, do you, do you know anything about uh, Yvette Carnell? I said, no, I don't, I, you know. And I said, that was just uh, a couple of years, it was a couple of years ago? Yeah, a couple of years ago. And I said, oh, wait a minute. I said, oh. I started listening, first, first it was a turn off. Then I started listening and I said, ooh, she makes so much sense. Then I started researching her. And uh, I said, oh man, these are things I did not know. She opened up my eyes. Uh, then I said, I, I tried to share with uh, quite a few other people, especially in the family. So other than that, uh, I can't answer any, any more than that. All I know is that I'm proud to be in, in this convention. It's, it's, it's been uh, a good fact learning. So, okay, I, I think. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I, I've been learned so much about our people and our phony politicians. <laughs> Thank you so much. So what's your what's your name? Roscoe A. Howard Jr. Not the third, not the fourth, but no, the junior. My third is my son. Oh then yeah. I, then, then I have what I call my chosen people, my chosen children, which I'm, I'm very proud of. Whoa, 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 whoa! Tell me about these chosen children. The ones that uh, I, I, I married to are uh, my wife Joan. Freely Howard. We've been married for 37 years. Bless you. So, you know, it's, I've been blessed with grandchildren and great grands. So I'm so proud of them. Uh, it's, uh, so much to be grateful for, especially with my children. I have eight children. Two biological and six that are chosen uh -huh. because I chose their mother that I love so dear. I see. What, what, what do your what do your children call you? Huh? What do your children call you? How do they address you? Well, some call me dad. Some call me Ross. I'm a. I want to be a chosen Ross child. That's so, right. Thank you very much, Ross. Thank you, Shelley. God bless you. Bless you also. Thank you for your work. You're welcome.